Welcome to Kachi Pachi. I am Jordan and this is Enoch and today we are here to talk to you about a new release from Baby Lock which is their Vesta. This machine is a combination embroidery and sewing and it's really an update of a machine that has needed an update for so long just because it's been so long since they updated it. So it's one of those that's like it's kind of a sweet spot. It's a it's not going to be for everybody. If you are in the market for a mid-range embroidery sewing combo machine, stay tuned. If not, skip to another video. <laughs> we do lots of these. So this machine is a 6x10 embroidery hoop, which is the number one thing that most people need to decide as what size embroidery hoop do you want, need, will you want to upgrade, how soon, how much will you be wanting to pay to upgrade, that sort of thing. Because if you're going to upgrade within a few years, then your machine is going to hold enough of its value that it may be worthwhile for you to get this one. And then if you're upgrading in a year to two years, you could trade it in and get the larger hoop size. If you don't want to upgrade for 5, 10, 15 years, then you may either need to just stick with 6x10 and this is going to be your baby. Or say, I'm going to wait and save for a little bit longer and get the larger hoop size because trading in 10 years from now, you're not going to get the value out of your machine. It's just not going to happen. They, I mean, it's technology. It's like buying a laptop and then trying to resell it 10 years from now. You're just not going to get what you paid for it. Despite it still working and functioning well, there's going to be so many advancements by that time. Oftentimes, it's just not going to be for most people. Anywho. This machine is six by 10. So you can do most monograms, bags, baby onesies. For me personally, where I'm at in life right now, I don't do a ton of embroidery. I mean, I have an eight month old that's rather limiting. If anything, I probably would do more embroidery than quilting because it's something you can set, come back to, set, come back to, and it's not something I have to sit there and actually manually do myself. So, Larger designs are nice in that regard, but also they are hard to justify the price point of some of those machines. So I very, very much think even just a 12 inch wide makes a huge difference, but you're talking like $5,000 more to be able to get there. And that oftentimes is not worth it in what you're already spending. So this machine, MSRP is like $59.99 and sale price is typically around $4,000, $4,500. That was for the Aventura 2. Because this machine just launched, I do not have pricing for it as yet, but something that as soon as we do have those things available, they will be in affiliate links below. So if you like it and think it's something you'd be interested in, you could support our channel, check those out, or just compare this machine to other brands, other machines like it using this website and it tends to help a lot of people. My guess is it's going to be somewhere in that same sort of price range, which is that mid-range embroidery. For me personally, depending on what you're doing, a combination machine can be great and it can be less useful. So because you have your embroidery machine as your sewing machine, if you wanted to sew, you can can't if you're running an embroidery design. Whereas having separate machines, sometimes you can save some money and get a great embroidery machine and then a sewing machine that's really going to do everything that you need it to and save some money. Because what this machine is, is the sewing version is really similar to Bravy Lock's Soprano, which the Soprano is a really great machine and it's got some nice features, but a lot of them are just kind of bonuses extra designs, being able to flip, not designs, but stitches, extra stitches, or being able to flip your stitches and edit stitches. And a lot of people aren't going to find those things super useful. So you could get an embroidery only version of this, which is their new, which is their new flare. And that machine typically runs on sale for like 2000 2500 And then potentially, potentially, that's our guess, because that's what the previous model of that machine ran for. So spending $2,000, $2,500 on an embroidery only and then like $500 on a really great sewing machine, you're spending $3,000, which is $1,000 less than what this machine would be. So it's really worth weighing those out for yourself to see if that's something, A, you have the space for, 
B, you have room for in your life as far as like, I want to be sewing while I'm embroidering. C, if you're traveling, if you're wanting to go to classes and you want to be able to swap back and forth between sewing and embroidery, you might want the combo because then you're just taking one machine as opposed to two for treats, same sort of thing. Are you traveling with it? Are you going to friends' houses? Is it staying put? Are you in a van? What is your lifestyle? What's more worthwhile for you? That's something only you can really answer for yourself. I like separate machines for my life and my conveniences. If I have my machine set up for embroidery and then my husband's pants rip on the back pocket like they did and I need to go sew them up real quick before we head out the door, I don't want to spend five to ten minutes changing my embroidery machine out. Oh my gosh, I can't find my sewing foot. Where's my sewing foot? Francis, where did you move my sewing foot to so that I can sit there and take two minutes to do a repair? It's entirely personal preference. I want a sewing machine set up all the time so that I can do any quick repairs, literally just like, hey, what thread do I need to put on? And I can go. And that's personal preference. That being said, hopefully my head's not shut up. That being said, when we worked in the industry, we had sold a ton of the previous version of this machine because the only thing you can compare it to for a combo machine, if that's what you want, is another several thousand dollars. So when you compare it to that, this really is a deal. And we sold a ton of these combo machines because it's one of the best selling combo machines at an incredible price with not a whole whole lot of competition if you look at it there are other machines in this this category but 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 when it comes to combo machines the ease of use from brother and baby lock compared to genomia ones are just wild wildly different so if you know you want a combo machine and you don't want to spend eight grand this is a very very popular option so that being said, one of the reasons that I really like Brother and Baby Lock is their interface. So this interface is super easy to learn, especially if it's like your first embroidery machine or something that you're like, I don't know if this is something that I'm going to be able to learn. The thing that they do that others don't is they use words and words mean things, whereas pictures mean things, but you have to know what the picture means. So when it says edit and rotate, my brain knows what that means. When it has a picture of a flower with a grid behind it, my brain does not know what that means, especially if I have slept and if I've got vomiting babies and sleep-deprived mom brain, then I really don't know. And especially if I haven't touched my embroidery machine in five months. So then that means I'm pulling out a manual and taking up the, oh, I have 20 minutes to go sew for myself, and I'm going to spend five of it trying to figure out how to edit this freaking design, and that makes it no fun anymore. And so for a lot of people, Baby Lock Brother interface is far superior, because if you have any sort of a chaotic lifestyle, or a normal mom busy day lifestyle, or if you're just getting older and you walk into rooms and you don't know what you're doing there anymore, then you probably want a machine that is going to tell you what you're doing, which means words. So for me, that interface is totally worth it. And it's oftentimes less expensive, which is also a pro. The other thing that's super duper exciting about this machine that is new to this release is Wi-Fi. Finally. So you don't have to spend $1,500 to get a machine that is actually in the 21st century anymore. So this machine... Maybe 15000 Yes, <laughs> sorry. You don't have to spend fifteen thousand dollars to get a machine that's in the twenty first century. Listen, y'all, it's what uh-huh. it's midnight here because that's when our babies sleep. So that's when we get to share these wonderful tidbits with you, <laughs> <laughs> right? So for this price, you have a machine that I can take. Oh, I'm sitting here holding baby in a chair upstairs, nursing or whatever it may be. And my two-year-old adores Minnie Mouse for God knows what reason, but she does. And so I'm like, well, I do what I can to make her happy. And this would absolutely make her happy because all she wants to wear is Minnie Mouse. And so if I find a Minnie Mouse design for $2 and it's in my email while I'm looking at it, then I can just send that to my sewing machine and I don't have to get up and go find a two gig. USB, which sidebar, what? <laughs> like, 
That's <laughs> the most obnoxious thing that a sewing machine company can do to you is be like, don't go to Office Depot and get a two gig USB because you can't. You have to get it from a sewing machine store that's only open until 5 or 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, which means you can't do it at 8 p.m. when you want to. <laughs> and so that is so annoying. And now you can bypass that. It's amazing. It's like they actually like us now. And so they recognize the lifestyle that we lead or they're just finally catching up to today's technology. Whatever it may be, I'm super excited that it's on this sewing machine. So absolutely, you can send updates and embroidery designs to your sewing machine from your phone. I'm so stoked. So stoked. It's something that's like needed to happen for a really long time. <laughs> like really long time. So that being said, this machine absolutely is great for a ton of people. The flare and maybe a Presto or a Jubilant or a Janome 3160, if you are okay with crossing brands, because that's my favorite, like, small sewing machine. Um, yeah, that may be a better option for you. Take a look. Take a look at the specs. Use the links below. Go to your local store. See what they have. See if you can put your hands on it. See what kind of deals they can make for you. If it's like 500 bucks and you really like them and they're super nice, it's probably worth buying from your local dealer. If you hate them and they're totally rude and treat you like you're an imbecile, then you maybe would want to support our channel and buy from the links below. Whatever floats your boat, absolutely. If this is something that you might be interested in, we would love to answer any questions you may have and help support you with your purchase in any way. So send us a comment, like, and subscribe. If you like Sleeping Babies, Stay tuned.